Well, listen, I want to go to the Word today, all right? I want to talk to you about the prophetic word for the month of February. And once again, do give some heart slice and share, share, share. Because, you know, who knows when I'm going to be live next uh, on Facebook, all right? And this is live. This is not pre-recorded. This is live, live, okay? So, praise God, all right? Listen, I want to talk to you about the prophetic word of the month. I hope somebody wrote down, hello there, Lori. We miss you. Alana, uh, Deborah, do we have a link for the gift of discernment? The new webinar? I hope we do, okay, because we got to get that set and in order, all right? And listen, if you don't know, I also have a group mentoring called 7M Glory Equip, okay? I have a group mentoring called 7M Glory Equip. Uh, if you love uh, the anointing, the DNA on our ministry, you love, uh, you know, how we represent the Lord and the kingdom of God, do join us uh, because we're passionate about mentoring you, walking with you. We don't want no phony baloney networking. No, we want the real thing, real discipleship, real mentoring, real growth. Amen. So God bless you. Let's talk about the prophetic word of the month for February. Do, 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 do. Praise God. Give the Lord a clap. Ah! All right. So listen, uh, I want to go into some, uh, before we go into some scripture here, as you know, every month I... Uh, I believe the Lord actually gives me a, a prophetic word for the month, okay? Um, and people can say, well, how can you do that? You're like horoscope uh, prophets. You're given horoscope prophecy. Listen, no, I'm not given horoscope or homoscope, okay? What we're doing is we are naming and declaring by the Spirit of God what God is saying and speaking about a certain time, okay? Because we need to understand the times and the seasons, and we need to understand what God is doing. Amen? So what we're doing is we're hearing what God is saying, what, what He's doing, and we're declaring it. And we're going to see it happen. What? And we're going to see it happen, okay? So uh, the month of February, it's the best month of the year because it's my birthday month. Remember that. I'm actually turning 30 in February 20. I'm turning 30. Uh, you know, it's going to be a big year for me, for us. And I declare it will be the best year of your life. Okay, it's going, 2021 is going to be the best year of your life. Amen. But uh, as you know, I go Hebraically, I go Biblically, I go to the Hebraic roots, I go to the Hebraic calendar, I go to the Word of God, to the Bible, uh, and we gain Scripture and Revelation from that. And from there, we gain prophetic uh, points from that, and we begin to prophesy into the future because when you know what God's done in the past and when you know what God's done in the Bible then that becomes an open window of revelation for the new today and beyond okay I hope you're following me all right so right now February all right we're actually in the Hebrew month of Shabbat someone say Shabbat okay we are in the Hebrew month of Shabbat S-H-E-V-A-T now I love this because uh uh, actually, February, you know, pretty much every Gregorian Greek month, you know, February, March, April, May, June, July, <laughs> every month literally almost has two Hebrew months coincided because of the moon or the lunar calendar, all right? Uh, but this month, February, right, right now we are in Shabbat, and eventually we go into Adar, okay? And usually whenever I give these prophetic words of the month, I talk about one a main Hebrew month. But today I'm going to talk about two in a sense. So Shavat to Adar. Okay, Shavat to Adar. This is going to be so good. Get ready, people of God. You better share because this is going to really bless you today. All right, Shavat to Adar. And uh, uh, in the month of Shavat, the main important thing about this month is the new trees that are blossoming, okay? On the 15th of Shabbat, it's it's a holy day, actually, the 15th of Shabbat. And on the 15th of Shabbat is known as the New Year for Trees. Someone say New Year for Trees. My gosh, I'm telling you, this month of February, this is where the trees begin to bloom and blossom. This is where the trees of righteousness, the oaks of righteousness, the trees of good fruit, this is where the trees begin to bloom and blossom. So the winter has passed, and now this month, February, is literally the, or uh, Shabbat, is literally the last month of the winter, 
And it's where the trees begin to spring up. The trees begin to bloom and blossom and bud. And where the trees begin to bear flowers and fruit. Come on, someone say flowers and fruit. So in the month of February, it's going to be fruity. The month of February is going to be fruity patootie. It's going to be flowery, okay? Expect fruit, expect flowers, bud, blooming, and blossoming. So I declare over you right now, in the month of February, that it is a new year of trees. Come on, trees, trees, trees. I'm talking to you about trees, fruits of the Spirit. Come on, trees and fruits of the Spirit, trees of life. Come on, somebody. The Bible says hope deferred uh, makes you sick. But desires fulfilled is a tree of life. Come on, I declare over you in the month of February, and not only is it Valentine's Day, come on, but February is a month of trees of life. Your desires are going to be fulfilled. You're going to be blown away. Your desires are going to start blooming and blossoming. The winter has passed, and in Shabbat, okay, which stands for the new year of trees, someone say trees, it's going to be a year where you're going to be, uh, a month, excuse me, where you're going to be eco-friendly, okay? Trees everywhere, green life, new life, come on somebody, new fruit, new flowers. This month of February, there's going to be trees and flowers budding, blooming, blossoming. The winter has passed in the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. So this month of February is Shabbat, which stands for the new year of trees. Come on somebody. Did you feel like your tree's been naked? Did you feel like your tree has been stripped? Have you felt like your tree has been empty? Okay? Like it's just twigs. It's not too beautiful to look at. It's just bare. But now, boom, flowers. Boom, leaves. Boom, it just begins to grow, grow. New sprout, new life. So February is Shabbat. The month of new trees. Come on, somebody. I declare over you, desires fulfilled. This is a good word. I hope you're grabbing it. I declare over you, trees of life. Okay, trees of eternal life. Come on, somebody. Robo Sata. In this month of February, you shall experience trees of life in the mighty name of Jesus. And did you know that February is a month where Bob Jones went home to be with the Lord? John Paul Jackson went home to be with the Lord, and even Papa Paul Cain. Okay, I mean, these prophets went home to be with the Lord, and even, of course, uh, Catherine Coleman went home to be with the Lord in this month of February, and Billy Graham also went home to be with the Lord in this month of February. In fact, Billy Graham went home on February 19th. My birthday is February 20. Isn't that incredible? All around that month of Valentine's, that, that season of Valentine's, Bob Jones, John Paul Jackson, Paul Kane, Billy Graham, Catherine Coleman, and I believe there's even one more prophet I'm forgetting about. But these great men of God went home to be with God, went home in the month of February. Why? Because it's a month of love. Come on, somebody. It's a month of new life. It is a month of new trees, of the tree of life. My gosh, I feel the Holy Ghost. So in this month of February, expect new trees. Expect new prophetic mantles. I don't hear you today. Come on. I wish somebody was shouting right now. Rata. In this month of February, Shabbat, it is a month of new trees, new prophetic ministries, new prophetic mantles, new authority, new glory, new power. I said new fruit. I said new flowers. You better receive this in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the great thing about this month of the of Shabbat is that, uh, of course, new trees, but specifically almond trees. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the almond trees. Come on, somebody. Almond. Someone say almond. Does anybody like nuts? I know a lot of people are fruity and nutty. But uh, in this month, the almond trees are the first trees to bloom and blossom. This is so good. I wish you're receiving this because there's a revelation, scriptural, biblical revelation about the almonds, okay, about the almond trees and the almonds, okay? Um, now, let's go into some scripture here. All right, this is, the, this is the month, Shavat is the time where the almond trees begin to bloom and blossom. It's the first tree of all the trees in Israel. 
And why is that important? We see almonds, Jeremiah chapter 111. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree. I see the branch of an almond tree. Why is this important? Because the branch of an almond tree stood for the oil of God. Almonds, when it's crushed, have a distinguished oil substance that burns with light and revelation. So almonds, when it's crushed, this nut is crushed, the almond creates an unusual anointing oil. When it's burned, there's a light, revelation, and illumination. Come on, somebody. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree. I said, in this month of Shabbat, get ready for the almond trees to bud, bloom, and blossom. Let's go over to Genesis 43, verse 11. I hope somebody's writing down scriptures here. Genesis 43, verse 11. Good to see you, Stephanie Grace. Genesis 43, 11. Then their father Israel said to them, If it must be, then do this. Put some of the best products. Someone say best products. I didn't say best Prada, even though Prada is some of the best products. Put some of the best Prada if, of the land in your bags. So as the brothers of Joseph are coming to Egypt to honor Joseph, they didn't know it was Joseph, to honor the, the second in command in Egypt, in Egypt. As they're coming, the father says, put some of the best products, come on, in your bags and take them down to the man as a gift. A little bit of balm, a little bit of honey, some spices, some myrrh, some pistachio nuts, and almonds. And almonds. Come on, somebody. Someone say crunch, crunch. Someone say bang, bang. Take some of the almonds with you because it's some of the best of our land. Who am I talking to right now? In fact, the Jews, the scholars believe that almonds were, was part of the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. Or they be, and they believe that it was some of the, the, the fruit that was in the promised land. Someone say best of the land. Someone say almonds. Number 17, 8. Come on somebody. Number 17, 8. And I love this passage. I've taught about the spirit of acceleration from this passage many times. Are you with me today? If you're enjoying this, give me some hearts and likes. Number 17, 8. The next day, Moses entered the tent and saw that Aaron's staff, which represented the tribe of Levi, had not only sprouted, but had budded, blossomed, and produced almonds. My gosh. Had sprouted, but had budded, blossomed, and produced almonds. Not even in one day's time. Hear me now. Less, in, in less than 24 hours, you're going to sprout, bud, bloom, and you're going to have almonds. Why is this so, so important? It bypassed the whole spring season in less than 24 hours. In less than 24 hours, in the realm of God's glory, He will quicken you and accelerate you <clears throat> to produce in the name of Jesus. I said in this month of February, you are about to produce supernaturally. You are about to have supernatural produce, production. It's going to be quick like never before. Now, why is this important? <clears throat> because where there was contesting. Have you ever experienced contesting? Have you ever experienced people, spirits, trying to test you, come against you, trying to front up on you, trying to make things hard for you? As people were contesting, Moses and Aaron, what did they do? They said, okay, at all the tribes, gather your staff and lay it in the presence of God. Come on, hear me now. And in the morning, when you see which staff has been anointed, you will see life on that dead stick. You will see life on that dead wood. On the dead wood, you're going to see life. The anointing of the almonds, you're going to see life on the staff. And of course, the next day, 
as there was contesting. Everybody thought they were anointed. Everybody thought they were leaders. They were in rebellion. They were in witchcraft. Everybody said, no, we are above Moses. We are above Aaron. We are the leaders. And they said, okay, everybody bring your staff and put it down in the presence of God. And in the morning, we will see which dead stick, which dead wood is going to produce life. And guess what? It was a rod of Aaron, the tribe of Levi. Not only did it sprout, not only did it bud, not only did it blossom, but it produced almonds. Less than 24 hours, there was fruit, there was nuts on it. Let me tell you why it is so important. The dead staff stands for the cross. And the almond stands for Jesus. The dead wood of the staff stands for the cross. And when the cross was laid down in the presence of God, God the Father anointed and allowed the budding and the blooming and the resurrection of the almond, which stand for Jesus. The almond to the Jewish people stands for resurrection. February Shabbat is a month of your resurrection. I wish you threw something at your phone right now. I wish I could throw something at this camera. The month of Shabbat, in the month of February, not only will you have new trees, not only will you have supernatural growth, not only will you bud, bloom, and blossom, where God puts your enemies to shame, everybody who tried to contest against you will be put to shame. And not only will they be put to shame, but you will have resurrection power. You will have the oil of the almond. You will have the best of the land. You will have super bloom, super blossom. You will have the best of God's plan in your life. I put this on silent, you devil. Stop it. I said in this month of February, of Shabbat, you will experience resurrection. Have you felt like you died? Have you felt like something's been dead? Get ready for the winter to pass. For the new trees, trees of life, desires fulfilled to come upon you. My gosh, I feel the Holy Ghost today. Rabba Taba Sande. Robo Sabande. Shor Rabba Baba This month of Shavat is a month of the almond resurrection. Get ready for resurrection. In your life, in your family, your finance, your ministry, your joy. Your prayer life, come on. Resurrection is coming to you. Someone say, Amen. And the th interesting thing, Adrian, about the almond, okay, is that the flowers bloom before the nuts come. Hear me now. The flower comes before the fruit manifests. And the almond flower has five petals and is white. The flower blossoms and then the nut, the fruit comes. The flower has five petals and it's white. God is saying, I'm releasing purity and I'm releasing grace before the resurrection comes. The month of Shabbat also stands for heavy rain. Come on, somebody. Heavy rain. In this month of February, expect heavy blessings. The blessings of, of God, the presence of God, is going to be so thick and so strong that you're just going to be on the floor. It's going to be so rich, so bountiful, so abundant, so manifest. The presence of God, the blessings of Jesus... It's going to rain down so much in this month of February. It's, it's the month of trees. It's the month of rain, heavy rain. There's going to be so much rain of Shabbat, rain, blessings. Come on, somebody. That I'm telling you, it's going to be the best month of your life. My gosh. So here's my three prophetic points for this month of February. Heavy rain. Resurrection power. And yes, you guessed it, returns. Some would say returns. Now, this is so good because 
February, right now we are in Shabbat, wherever you're watching, and then we enter into Adar. Someone say Adar. Now, Adar, oof, Adar is the month of Purim. Come on, somebody. Someone say Purim. Adar is the month of Purim, okay? And Purim is the season of the Esther fast. Come on, somebody. It is the celebration of the Esther fast, where the false decree, the false president, where the false words, where the false decree of Haman was overturned, and Esther gained victory in the court. So guess what? There was celebration. There was feasting. There was a pate. Does anybody like the pate? There was a pate. And people began to wine and dine and feast and be glad because Jesus gave them victory. Jesus gave them victory. So there's going to be a reversal and a return. God is reversing the abortion legislation of Joe Biden. He's reversing the transgender uh, agendas by Joe Biden. He's going to reverse. Come on, somebody. Jesus is reversing what the Haman spirit enacted in the first week of office. He is reversing. Someone say reverse. Someone say, I reverse the curse. Someone say, I reverse the plans of the devil. Someone say, I reverse the plots of Haman. There is a reversal in this month of February. And declare these words, even by the end of this month, February 2021. You shall see a reversal in your finances, a reversal in the government of America. You shall see a reversal in the month of February. Shatarabase. You will see a reverse and then a return. I said your prodigals are returning. I said your money is returning. I said your joy is returning. Your, your confidentia, your confidence is returning. It's returning to you, says God. Your oomph, your strength. My gosh. So in this month of February, it's Shabbat, but it's also Adar. It's the month of the esters. It's the month of the new trees. It's the month of the almonds, which stand for resurrection. It's the month of, of fruits, of heavy rain, blessings. God's got to bless you. Oh my gosh. I'm talking about mega blessings. I'm talking about silly blessings. I'm talking about confounding blessings. I'm talking about ridiculous blessings. This month of February, there's going to be so much fruit and so much fun. Someone say fun. There's going to be so much fruit and so much flowers and budding and blooming and blossoming and acceleration. My gosh, your enemies are going to be put to shame, put down. The enemies that try to speak up against you. Oh, the prophet's got it wrong. It's going to be contested, says God. This is the month of February. Shavad and Adar. My, my, my. My, my, you watch and see, people of God. You watch and see. Jabata Zika Rabandi, Zoko Rababai, Robo Sonda Rabandi, Robo In this month of February, you'll see heavy rain, mega blessings in your life, unstoppable blessings, manifold blessings. In this month of February, you're going to see heavy rain. Number two, you're going to see resurrection power come on somebody i said a resurrection power the almonds stand for resurrection the almonds stand for jesus christ the almond tree come on is going to bud bloom and blossom and remember the oil of the almond is used for burning which stand for light revelation illumination so you're going to experience a light revelation things are going to start opening up for you this month come on Fruit, uh, flowers, desires fulfilled. You're going to experience desires fulfilled this month, the tree of life. And then number three, expect reversals and returns. Reversals and returns. People of God, I want to pray for you right now. I wish our team got the link for the gift of the sermon ready. Deborah, where, where art thou? But I wish our team had that, but I'm going to be doing a new 
webinar very soon called The Gift of Discernment. Okay. Listen, people of God, I love you. Uh, you know, I miss you. Uh, you know, I mean, I've been so busy, but we've been killing it. I'm telling you, we've been killing it. I mean, my gosh. You know, we have been killing it. Like, January hasn't even been over, and we've been killing it. Like, it's been incredible. But I'm telling you, February is going to be more glorious, more miraculous. Heavy rain, resurrection power, and reversals and returns. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for you right now. Remember, join me next week, Tri-Cities, Washington. Or join me for the Gift of Discernment webinar. Got a lot of great things happening, coming forth. I want you right now, I want you to comment below. What what encouraged you? What spoke to you the most? I know it was so rich. Did you enjoy this today, Adrian? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, it was so rich today. So good, you know. I love these prophetic words of the month because, because God is into it. He's into times and seasons. He's into appointed times. God's appointed times and seasons. He's into this. But uh, I want you to comment below what spoke to you the most, what encouraged you. Amen. What ministered to you the most? And what are you receiving from this broadcast today? What are you receiving? What are you taking back? Remember, I want you to like, share. I want you to share, share, share. Please share. And listen, do subscribe uh, to my YouTube and do uh, follow me on the public page because we're going to be doing a lot more on the public page because I'm banned on the personal from doing lives. So, you know, this is a season to grow our YouTube and to grow our public page and to start our app and a lot of great things. Okay. But God bless you. Love you. Hallelujah. And listen. You're saying, Pastor Ben, I received so much today. I expect, I expect this. Adrian, which, which one spoke to you the most? Reversal and return. Por qué? Just, you know, uh, my life, my family. Reversals and returns. Yeah. My life, my family. Expect reversals and returns. This, this month, February, I'm telling you. What I want you to do right now, uh, Team, if we can give uh, the donation link, I want to invite you to sow, okay? I feel I feel the heavy presence of God right now. I I literally feel it. I don't do this all the time, but I feel like I need to today because there's such a witness in the spirit. There's such a a heavy presence of God. So I want you to sow into this word. If if you're believing this, I want you to sow by faith. Because you're believing for reversals, returns, heavy rain, blessings, opportunities, financial outpouring. Amen. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, in our ministry, people left and right are coming up with financial testimonies. Like, testimonies. Like, people are being blessed. People are prospering. New I want to pray for you. Amen. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm just, honestly, I, I've, I'm having the best season of my life and um remember february is gonna february is the best month of the year why because my birthday month but it's not a coincidence that bob jones paul kane john paul jackson <sighs> billy graham Catherine coleman all went home to be with the lord in this month you know and literally it's it they all went home to be with the lord in the last four or five years Incredible. And I'm probably going to be talking more about that in the days to come. But I'm so glad you joined me today. Listen, I love you guys. I miss all of you. Okay. God, I thank you for my friends watching. Oh, God, bless them. Wreck them, Jesus. I pray for resurrection power, God. I pray for your presence to be so rich this month. That the dead trees will come alive. That the dead trees, the dead wood, would bud, bloom, and blossom and produce. I pray for the best of the land. I pray for redemption, power, resurrection. I pray, God, for reversals and returns. I pray for heavy rain. I pray for trees of life. 
I declare you are an oak of righteousness. You are a tree of life. <laughs> you are a tree of life. You are an oak of righteousness. It is the month of February. You will have the five petals of grace and the almonds. You will have the purity of the almonds. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. It's going to be the best month of your life February.